Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Today we'll reflect on the scripture passage from the Gospel of Saint Luke, verses 11. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Let us understand the context in which this verse is quoted. Jesus notices how the guests picked up the places of honor at the table, and he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take a place of honor, for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. So the person who invited you may come to you and say, Give the person the seat, then humiliated, you will have to take a place of least importance. But when you are invited for a wedding, take the place which is of least importance. So the person will come to you and say, Friend, move up high to a better place. Then you will be honored in the presence of all the other guests at the table. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Jesus notices, he watches how everyone seeks places of honor, and these guests already took their places without even thinking that there are more guests to arrive of higher importance. What do we learn from this? How many times do we seek places of honor, the best for us? So Jesus quotes this parable very subtly and smartly to take the lowliest place, to take a humble place. There is this beautiful quote by Mother Teresa, if you humble yourself, if you humble, nothing will touch you, neither grace nor disgrace, because you know who you are. Each of us has an ego inside of us. We want people to appreciate us, to admire us, to acknowledge us. And on the other hand, when people insult us, when people correct us, we feel offended. Our egos are again wounded. In both the cases, there is no display of humility. What is humility? Humility is genuineness. It is sincerity. It is a virtue. It helps us to simply be who we are. If we are humble, we won't feel offended or we won't feel boastful about ourselves. We will be comfortable. We will be satisfied and content with our good qualities as well as our failures. Are we genuine enough? Let us ask ourselves. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, it says, Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. The paradox of self-promotion and self-demotion is so opposite to the philosophy of the world. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, Jesus says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. If we really want to learn what is humility, let us learn from Jesus who became the servant of all, becoming humble. Philippians 2 7 says, But he emptied himself, taking a form of a slave. Being born in human likeness and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. And therefore God also highly exalted him, giving him the name above every other. One of the most important quality of humility is obedience. God humbled himself. And therefore, he was exalted. In the same way, we see Mother Mary also humbled herself, considering herself a handmaid of God. And God exalted her to be the mother of Christ, to be the queen of heaven. She also expresses this in the Magnificat. When she says, God puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud of heart. He has cast the mighty from their throne and has raised up the lowly. God values humility. He honors it. He acknowledges it. 
And therefore, there is be like salt to add flavor, to add taste in the life of people, and then disappear without taking any credits, without seeking appreciation. How many times in our ministries, at our workplaces, at home, we seek appreciation? We want people to compliment us. Are not all our gifts given to us by God Himself? And for Him is all the glory. Let us be like light to shine so all can see the good that we do and give glory to God alone. We can learn to be humble in three simple steps. Step number one, do not think too much of yourself. Step number two, let us think more about others. Step number three, by thinking of God. When we say, let us not think too much of ourselves, let us not be self-obsessed, let us not be boastful and with pride, rather, let's be humble. In Philippians 1.15 we see, where people are doing God's work and good work, but are they seeking credit? Are they seeking glory of their own? Yes, but rather, they should glorify God while doing His work. Step number two. Think more of others. Let us be sensitive. Let us be present at the need of others like the Good Samaritan. Do we regards? We do we regard others better than ourselves? We should learn to put others first, and then we can practice humility in our thoughts, in our words, and in our deeds by thinking more of God. When we think of things in heaven, we are one with Christ. We understand His mind and His heart. And so we become compassionate. We become humble. And then we are able to love God and love one another. Let us end this time in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, make us humble like your mother. Teach us what is to be genuine and real. Give us the grace, the anointing, to choose the least for us and best for others. Let us regard others before us, giving them the best place. Father in heaven, teach us to be kind, gentle in heart, to be sensitive to the need of others. Help us as we deal with people in our daily life. As we make this prayer in the name of Jesus and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the angels and saints, Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God bless you. And St. Lawrence. If you want to grow spiritually and know more about Jesus and his teachings, please subscribe to the channel. I'm saying Bonaventure and if you enjoyed and learned something new, then please press the like button. I'm saying Philomena and I want you to please share this video with your family, friends and all your WhatsApp friends. I am St. Thomas of Villanova and I want you all to comment a word or a scripture touch you the most watching this video. Hi friends, I am Saint Monica and today I want to encourage you to press the bell icon mentioned here below in order to get notified about every new spiritual content on this channel. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay connected.